Coming up for you on today's ATV, we're going to Hudson about why the EFC is important. And next up, a What Does Arlington Think segment about the Super Bowl. And lastly, we have a PSA with Taylin on PBA. Welcome to the show. I'm Katie. And I'm Bella. Today is February 3rd, 2020. Thank you for watching. ATV starts now. ATV. 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 ATV starts now. EOCs are around the corner and approaching fast. I'm pretty nervous, how about you? Well, luckily, I'm a senior, so I don't have to take those anymore. Now let's go to Hudson with some information on this spring's EOCs. Thank you, ladies. Now the EOC test is coming quicker than you could say sandy laid seashells by the seashore. And the students might not think anything of it, but how does it affect the principals and the teachers? Well, let's find out. The end of course tests are statewide assessments that not only affect how the students are learning, but also how the teachers are helping these students learn the standards they need to graduate high school. These tests are called the EOC. EOCs are state mandated testing uh, to where we know what, know what, preparing students for college, preparing students uh, to grow while they're here, and it's kind of an accountability model that sh uh, shows and tells us what, what each kid's story is, where they're at at this time, when they finish testing. ELCs will begin around the last couple of weeks of April and go into May a little bit before AP testing starts. Everybody's affected by the ELCs because there's a lot of stressful times around ELC for not only teachers getting students prepared but also students taking it and uh, uh, how, how it affects them going moving forward in their, in their coursework and in their preparation for whatever comes next. I think earlier this year uh, we, we were known as a level one school and that's not who we are. We, are, we should be a top-notch academic school, and based on our testing, uh, you know, it showed through, through the, showed through the test that our students were not growing and achieving at the rates that we're used to. So this year, um, we, we really need parents and students to understand the importance of it and how it affects not only principal scores, but teacher scores, as well as our school scores. And that's not something that we are used to being as a level one school based on testing. So we need everybody to understand the importance of what teachers are doing right now in the classroom on a daily basis. They're trying to prepare you for, for the EOCs and of course testing. And it also shows how much students are, have grown throughout the school year. So that's very important to us and, and, uh, and showing their growth and how much they've achieved throughout the school year. So again, it's very important no matter what anybody says. We want our school to be seen in a positive light as well as uh, teacher scores, principal scores, uh, school scores, those are all important. The teachers have great expectations for their students going into the EOC test. What students need to do to prepare for the EOC is to first try hard, um, answer every question to their best of the ability, and apply what they've learned in English class this year. Expectations for my students on the EOC is that they try their best, um, they answer every single question to the best of their ability and make sure that they apply their knowledge to the best of their ability based on what we've learned. So students, don't take this test lightly because not only does the test determine your future, but also the teacher's future. Alongside Austin White, this has been Hudson Criswell reporting for ATV. Arlington sports teams have been dominating on the courts. Let's check in with Kate for some information on our sports. Hey Tiger fans, I'm Cade Kraft, and this is your Tiger Life Sports. This week has been an impressive one for our Arlington sports. Starting off with swim, the boys swim team placed fifth overall in the district championship meet. With this placement, the team season ended. But five swimmers were state qualifiers and will be headed to Middle Tennessee to challenge the best in state. Good luck, guys. Up next on the hard court, the Arlington basketball teams have continued to hate, take home wins. Girls went on went one and one in the tournament in Louisville, bringing their overall to 28 and five. The boys beat Bartlett on the 17th with a final score of 47 and 40. Keep up the good work, guys. Upcoming games start next week with district matchups against Bartlett and Kingsbury. 
Finally, we bring out the, the mats for the wrestling update. The boys wrestling team recently took down the Collierville Dragons with an embarrassing 49 to 22, winning the district championships. That's all for this week in sports. I'm Cade Kraft, back to you ladies. Have you heard about the coronavirus? Sounds pretty scary. I know, right? I hope it doesn't make its way here. Let's go to Andrew with some more information on the coronavirus and other current events with this news package. Hi, I'm Andrew DeWitt and this is your weekly update. The speech and debate team had a competition recently. Matt Miller placed first in extemporaneous speaking. Ainsley Feeney came in second place in both TV newscasting and prose. Kaya Williams came in third in both poetry and duo interpretation. And Isabella Cleveland came in third in duo interpretation. Other finalists are Chloe Lewis, Nuren Martin, Allo Cloverubius, and Callie Briggins. Way to go, Tigers. A new virus has taken over China. As of January 28th, the coronavirus has taken over 100 lives and infected more than 4,500 people around the world. There are new cases popping up everywhere, from Germany to Japan. With a lack of testing kits in China, there have been concerns and speculation that the death toll of this virus is much higher than reported. On Sunday, January 26th, Former Laker basketball legend and father of four, Kobe Bryant tragically died in a horrific helicopter crash, along with eight other people. Of those people was Kobe's 13-year-old daughter, Gigi, who was on the path to becoming a basketball star just like her father. Celebrities, public figures, and sports fans all around the world are mourning and paying tribute to those lost in the crash. His greatness on the court and his kindness off the court will always be remembered. Mom bow. Stay right there. We have one story for you after this PSA break. Ah, uh, Cameron and Naya, aren't they just so in love? No PDA. Ah, uh, Zach and Dinah, they're just so playful and giggly. And then... No PDA. Valentine's Day is coming up. Don't forget to respect your peers and don't show PDA in the hallway. Yes! What? Knowledge, bro. Knowledge? Yes. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, bro. All the knowledge is right here. Bro, we got apps on our phones to read books. So why would we need some paper, dude? Who, do, who still use paper? Typical, bro. I do. Everything you need in life, in like general, is in a book. Reading is not that bad after all. Literally, you can raise your ACT scores, especially on the reading portion, or even having to read faster on that Instagram post. Plus, you can literally read whatever you're interested in. It doesn't even have to be like a boring old history book. Dude, what are you looking at? Huh? Oh, I just really love reading, and I also want to tell people about it, like the ACT score, the Instagram post, all that other stuff. Like, reading is amazing. Oh, it's such a nerd. Up next, Brenton asked students what they predicted for the Super Bowl yesterday. Let's see if their predictions were right. My, I think the 49ers will win. Uh, the Chiefs. The Chiefs. Uh, I'm going to have to say the Chiefs. Garoppolo. He's, he's had a phenomenal season, and I think he'll throw for – Three or four touchdowns, probably three though. Easy, Patrick Mahomes. He's been a um, lights out player all season long. Ever since they started six and four, he's been coming along after the injuries. So uh, he'll win MVP. Patrick Mahomes, because he's a beast. I think that uh, Patrick Mahomes will win the Super Bowl MVP. Since I mean, he's just a young, talented player at his age, and we haven't seen anybody like him and do what he does. Richard Sherman. He, he's talked smack his whole career, uh, and he's definitely going to prove why uh, he's been talking like that. Raheem Mostert, the running back from the 49ers, he had uh, 249 yards last week. Um, he came out, you know, no name, nobody knew him, and I think he'll have a big game. Patrick Mahomes, because he's a beast. Um, honestly, I feel like Tyreek Hill could be a key player because of speed and kickoffs, getting those extra yards against the 49ers. It's going to be a little tough for the defense to stop them in the speed of their offense. Next up, for our special segment, we have some tricky trivia. Let's go to Davis and Lucas for more. 
Imagine you're sinking in a rowboat, surrounded by sharks. How do you survive? You don't survive. Um, you're sinking in a rowboat. You hold on to the boat. You get on top of the boat. Why would a rowboat be in the ocean? Among the alphabet, which letters make up honey? H-O-N-E-Y? B. How many fingers do you have? Five. Five. Ten. Eight and two thumbs. How many fingers do you have? Ten. Eight and two thumbs. How many fingers do you have? I have ten. Eight and two thumbs. If a plane crashes on the border of the United States and Mexico, where would the survivors be buried? United States. On the border? You don't bury survivor? You don't bury survivors. If a plane crashes on the border of the United States and Mexico, where would the survivors be buried? Depending on where they're from. How many books can you put in an empty backpack? 25. One, but then it's not empty anymore. Zero. Wait, oh, an empty backpack. A lot, that is. Before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the tallest mountain in the world? It was still Mount Everest. Before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the tallest mountain in the world? Um, Six and a half hours later. Mount... Fee? Mount, Mount, Mount Fiji. If there are six apples and you take four, how many do you have left? You still got four. If there are six apples and you take four, how many do you have left? Two. Two. Six. You have four. Or if there are six apples and you take four, how many do you have left? Two. Wrong. It's four. You know, th these are. Get that camera. So, Valentine's Day is coming up. Got any plans? Sadly, I have work. But are you doing anything? Yeah, same. I have work. Otherwise, though, I'd have a date. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the show today. We hope you have a great week, and see you next time. <laughs>